my name is Mark and uh, I run the Reading Project uh, website that's uh, featured on Neo Cities. We've been doing that for the last five years. Um, today I wanted to speak about a local novel uh, by Michael Duffy called The Problem with Murder, uh, which we came across just last month, the end of 2021. The peculiar thing about this book is uh, that it is only sold in four bookshops in the Blue Mountains here uh, just west of Sydney and this is what originally uh, drew my attention to it. Um, my co-reviewer uh, Victoria had uh, decided to buy it and when I saw this um, I suggested she write a blog post on our website and the author found it and uh, contacted us and so I was kind of curious to read it after that. I don't read a lot of crime fiction but one of the things that really impressed me about this book was the way it drew upon its setting. Um, I was reminded a little bit, and I'm sure the author will be surprised uh, if he hears me say this, but I was reminded a little bit of, of Wuthering Heights. In Wuthering Heights you've got the Earnshaws and the Lintons who uh, sort of live these tortured lives um, you know, in, the, in the wilds, the moors, and uh, with the wind and, and the mist and the rain pe uh, pounding upon um, on the house. And it seemed a reflection of the kind of personalities and in their, in the, their, their inner souls, so to speak, of a wild man like Heathcliff. And this is the sort of thing that you find in the problem with murder. So often is, is there a, a talking about um, the mist rolling in or the, or the dark abyss of the Jamison Valley just below uh, Katoomba that you get to start to get the sense that this is reflecting something about the character, something about the, the kind of community, uh, the sort of the underlying uh, issues of um, sort of corruption or even uh, domestic violence that run through the book, the things that are never quite seen or always underneath. And there's when you see uh, the landscape, when you look into the Jamison Valley with the mist there and you can just see those mountains or those rock formations peeking out from the mist, you get this sense of this, this dark undercurrent uh, that, that Michael Duffy is talking about. So what we'd like to do here is take you on something of a little tour of some of the key places in the problem with murder. The transition from local streets to manic highways, so often required up here, was potentially fatal. It was like passing into a parallel universe where everything moved five times as quickly. You had to adapt your mental state in a matter of seconds. It was the same in reverse. Turning off the highway meant slowing down, like a space capsule entering the Earth's atmosphere. People spend most of their viewing time looking down, not up. The valleys are certainly impressive in their own way, but as enormous holes in the ground, as expressions of emptiness. This is one of the lookouts at Echo Point, uh, Katoomba. Uh, behind me, believe it or not, is the Three Sisters. The atmosphere of um, the, the sense of, of dread and uh, of, of some, the wildness that exists just beyond our civilised borders is sort of permeates the whole book and I think this shot today really suggests exactly what he's saying even though this is the middle of summer and his book is set in autumn and winter uh, you get the sense of what he's talking about when he talks about the mist and the rain and even the snow that uh, comes in Katoomba at some parts of the year. The gap between the nice nostalgic town on the surface and what I see underneath, it makes the surface seem fake. Katoomba Street is lined with largely pleasant buildings from the first half of the last century. Modernity has washed through, but in an underfunding way, preserving much of the original character, if not the original energy. The term shabby chic applies. Maybe. 
The next morning, a Saturday, Paul Ruel was waiting on Platform 2 of Katoomba Railway Station at 10.10am. It's a charming red brick Victorian station, built unusually on a gentle curve. That afternoon I drove to the Hydro Logistics Pavilion store for an interview about the Grand Old Hotel, which is one of the mountain's man-made glories. Hydro Logistics was an old 19th century bathhouse. It was closed for many years and they renovated it. It's now a hotel. In uh, Michael Duffy's book, The Problem with Murder, Bella comes to the Hydro, but she goes to the other section of the pavilion to meet somebody uh, as part of the plot. But I think this is actually the most uh, sort of scenic uh, part of the whole thing. Connoisseurs regard the view from Gubbett's Leap as the best in the mountains. According to local legend and the mural at Blackheath Railway Station, it is named after a bushranger who, being chased by the cops, had jumped his horse over the cliff in a Thelma and Louise moment. This was charming, if not entirely accurate. They speak about this and the fact that it's probably not uh, a true story because a uh, leap was a Scottish word for a waterfall. Um, the uh, government's leap descends in the valley about five or six hundred metres, I could be wrong about that. Um, and it's sort of just like a straight river down, so we're going to go and see that. With the weather we've got today, the kind of weather that Michael Duffy describes in his book, it's likely that we won't be able to see it. Under her arm was a parcel of books from the lovely Lost Little Bookstore in K-Town. There was also a bag from Glee Books, a fine bookstore in the town of Blackheath, where the Macarasses lived. A book had slipped out and Paul could see its cover, How To Be Perfect. After dinner, I waited for her without enthusiasm, reading a fine mountains novel called The Service of Clouds, recommended to me by Megalong Books down in Lura. something a little bit more than just being a crime fiction. Um, I think Michael Duffy is very uh, interested in uh, the problems of um, the modern world. The fact that he's decided to keep this local and certainly in the comp that he wrote on our website that there's too many um, sort of international things these days that uh, this sense that we're, we're divorced from the other uh, local and therefore divorced from uh, other people. Um, uh, Paul Rule's uh, son in the book, who is uh, undertaking a project uh, with other friends, he calls them, uh, people around the world who he's never actually physically met, uh, to produce a video game, which actually uh, mirrors to some degree the, the, the locality and the situations uh, within the book. Um, of, of there being valleys and of there being ridges and these, these movements between the valleys and the ridges. And so uh, this sense of dislocation, of alienation from others, seems to permeate the book um, through the, uh, the weather, through the landscape. One of the things I'll say about this book, and it may, be a, a, it may be a negative for some people who decide to read it, is there's not a, there's not a spectacular murder at the beginning. There's, there's nothing um, sort of like a, a roller coaster or anything like that. In fact, uh, this book is pretty much a slow burn, and I like that. Uh, I, I like a book where I get to know the characters, the situation, and I'm expected to understand what's at stake rather than sort of having the flash and the, and the fizzle um, of excitement. And I think Duffy does this well. It's a long time before um, we get to what we may expect from, say, the title, and certainly our expectations are always challenged and always surprised uh, by this book. I'm going to leave uh, some links in the uh, comments below for anyone who might be interested in, in buying a copy of this book. Um, naturally enough, it's only sold physically across the counter in the four bookshops mentioned in the uh, novel itself. But um, you will be able to get in touch with at least three of those bookshops. Um, 
Glee Books, uh, the, their stock that's put onto their website represents uh, their city store, not their Blue Mountain store. So I'll leave three of those and I was assured by at least um, the proprietor of Landwood Books that of course they would send the book to anyone who wanted to, uh, to read it overseas or anywhere else that uh, couldn't acquire it locally. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, we'll try to put out more. We're always putting out um, reviews on our website. And uh, if you hope to see more of us or if you're a follower of our website, um, click the uh, subscribe button and that would be nice. Thank you very much.